Hey, aloha, Mark J, uh, world's laziest networker, coming to you from our home here in beautiful Kauai, Hawaii. And I'm really thrilled today. It's a little past excited because Dawn Anderson has agreed to share some of her wisdom, experience, or strength, and her hope around the network marketing industry. And what I've seen happen for her has been remarkable. We'll get that uh, get to that in a few minutes. But when I first met Don, uh, I think it was about about three years ago. Um, I said, "Man, I know that she can do this because she has count them eight kids and was a single mother." And um, I the other thing that, that that caught my eye was she had a Minnesota Twins hat on. And but I found out she's in North Carolina. So you're currently in North Carolina. Yes, I'm currently in North Carolina. I moved here from Minnesota a couple of years ago. But you know, right. I can't leave. I can't leave my teams behind. Can't leave your teams behind. They're having a good season this year. Now I know one of the things that happened when you first got involved, um, you were struggling with network marketing a little bit, trying to build a network marketing business. I, you know, had recently. Uh, get yourself into a different life choice and we're trying to become um, self-supporting through your own efforts and so tell us about those early struggles and what changed because you obviously you've maxed out the pay plan now you, oh god forbid have to build another line and make even more money but we'll get to <laughs> success in a minute tell us about the beginning of that Oh my. Well, you know, it's funny how you hear things over the years about how to build a business and what works and you can get training. But one thing that I had heard, you know, was that if you work on your business, you make money, but if you work on yourself, you make a fortune. And that didn't mean a lot to me when I heard it the first few times, because I didn't really understand that. I didn't understand, you don't know what you don't know. And, and so when I got into network marketing, I saw and understood the vehicle. I knew that that was a way, but I didn't really understand what it was going to take to make the way. And first of all, becoming who you really meant to be. A lot of times what we do is we see these other people in network marketing, we listen to tapes and we listen to this, and we try to become somebody that we're not. But really, what we're supposed to do is be all that we were designed to be. And so that's, you know, how we met, Mark, is through the master keys. You know, I, you, I filled out an application, said a, a prayer, <laughs> Because I wanted to get in so bad to this amazing program that was a dollar to get started. And, and I said, no way, because all these other things that I had been in and paid lots of money for, right? But see, what I knew, Mark, was that this was perfect timing. See, I don't, I don't believe in accidents. I came across the master keys exactly when I was ready for it. And so I filled out the application. You you know, I, I got accepted to the program and for six months I worked on me. Right. And when you say accepted into the program, just for people that aren't familiar with it, what that really means is um, everybody that's accepted into the master keys, their tuition for the course is already paid. It's been paid by strangers that you've never even met, which is really a fantastic thing. And there'll be some information about that. I'll put a link down below for everybody. But you, so you got this scholarship to the master keys. I want to back up to something you said that I think is okay. really interesting. And that is you were ready. Um, when this cross pass, I like to say that coincidences are God's way of staying anonymous, but anyway, well, that's a, that's a whole nother conversation. Um, what do you, how, what do you mean you were ready? Cause I know you were struggling both personally and professionally at the time. So can you define what you mean by, and I knew I was ready. Well, I had done a lot of reading. I had done a lot of listening. I had been going to different workshops and I had been trying to discover how to figure out what was inside of me. Um, and, and personal development is definitely a component of, of your entire life. 
Uh, and, and again, going back to that, if you work on your business, you make money. If you work on yourself, you make a fortune. And the reason being is because if you're out in life trying to be somebody you're not, First of all, you're not even going to be satisfied. You're never going to be happy. You're going to be have to be on all the time because you have to figure out who you're going to be, you know, in all these different situations instead of just discovering that beautiful miracle you were already created to be. And I and I realized and learned in the master keys that all this cement you know is built up on us. And, you know, they call it mud slinging sometimes, right? Well, so we've had all this mud slung all over us and we're buried deep inside of there. And a lot of times we just know how to get it out. Right. So when you say cement or mud, what you're really talking about is the conditioning that we get from the time we're four, five, six years old. That's what little boys do. That's what little girls do. You know, this is what Asian people do. This is what white people do and so on and so forth. And so... It's like, it, it, I always kind of get a kick out of it. We go to school and they say, you can be anyone you want. You can be anything you want to be, but you better follow the rules and behave like everybody else. And so we get, you know, we start believing that performing to other people's ideas um, is really what makes us successful. And we get lost in between. And I think that's what you mean by the, the cement or the, or, or the mud slinging. So you got involved in network marketing and we'll come, well, let's circle back to this self discovery. Um, but we have a lot of people that are in network marketing that are on this blog. Uh, and by the way, thanks everybody for checking it out. And um, so let's just talk about one or two little things that started to make a difference for you uh, before we get into personal development um, in terms of just the business itself. You know, you were struggling getting people to look at the business, struggling to get them enrolled, and mostly struggling to get anybody that you did get in to produce. So if you had a couple of tips for people about how to be more successful in any one of those three things or all three of those things, you know, what would that be? What have you learned? Because obviously you've built a juggernaut over there. I mean, I'm talking to people in your group that are making three, four, five, six thousand a month. And uh, six, seven months ago, they weren't even in the business. How did that transformation take place for you? Well, n number one, you know, I had had um, some people kind of get started with me right out of the gate. So I felt like that was indicative of my success, that I, it was just going to happen. Um, but what I learned very quickly is that's not the way it works. You might have a handful of friends that'll say yes to you, but if none of you have ever built a business before, how are you going to ever expect to do something you've never done before? And I, I always joke around and I say, well, you know, if you went to school to be a nurse, they wouldn't just hand you a catheter and a syringe after you read the book and say, go get them. Right. So you need to have some skills, but it's not just hearing those skills, it's being able to apply those skills. And, and that's where um, I participated in the Go90 Grow training program, which was phenomenal for me because it really gave me hands-on, number one, we're working together, live, talking, interacting, learning skills. And so one of the things that you always say is guts, go use the skills. And there is nothing in life that doesn't require skills. You can't ever, um, you know, go into the kitchen and think that you're going to just bake this amazing souffle if you don't even know, you know, anything about cooking, right? Well, so this business is no different. But the best part about it, it was a duplicatable or replicatable system of skills. So I knew exact. See, it wasn't that I didn't have some ideas, but I needed the order to put it in. Right. I needed to be able to take somebody from the beginning and believe. Also, I needed to believe, right? I, I had, I really struggled for a long time because I wanted to look at somebody in the eyes and be honest and say, I can help you, but I didn't know how to help them. Right. So one of the things that you talked about was hands-on. And yeah. I know from uh, talking to a couple of people in your group that have also been through the Master Key Experience um, and Go90 Grow is basically, um, let's settle a debate, okay? Yeah. One side says, you know, sign people up and throw it against the wall and see what sticks. 
um, that they should make the call on their own and set the appointment for the upline. And the other school of thought is you should make the initial calls with people because if not, you're just feeding them to the sharks. And we see a lot of these scripts out there that tells new people really to lie. It says, you know, call people up, tell them you're too busy because you have so many appointments, which isn't true. Um, so help us settle this debate. Um, should you make calls with new people that don't know what they're doing? Well, I mean, anybody that's trying to build a network marketing business, the first things you realize is that nobody knows how to make a list and nobody knows how to make a telephone call. And so if we're not going to sit down and do those things with that new person, we are just throwing them in the deep water. And why would we do that? And, and, and again, it's the credibility of who you are as a person when you, I can look at somebody in the face and say, I have the ability to help you become successful. Right. Right. Doesn't so matter who you are, where you came from. I can teach you exactly what you need to know. Yeah. And, and I mean, this is really what happens because I remember you called me, Oh, it was probably a month, a couple of months ago, maybe. And you were just so excited because you were with your daughter and your grandkids right? And you were actually not working and earning <laughs> money, right? <laughs> you know, the old saying, you know, the, 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 the guy or the gal at the top of the mountain didn't fall there, right? They, right. So it was lots of hands-on support. So you make initial calls with people and you just give them one or two lines to introduce you so that the pressure's off them. Is that basically the system that you're using? Oh, definitely. And the reason, again, is because anybody, that's a natural thing. We introduce people all the time. You know, we introduce people to our friends. So that's a very easy thing. And, and actually, that's also what makes people say yes. Because when we ask them, well, what does your friend have to do? Wow, nothing. Right. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Is that something you feel that you could do, right? Right. <laughs> yeah. So... So basically what you're doing by making calls with people, correct me if I'm wrong, but what you're doing is you are already pre-selling the prospect because they can't deny that they're going to get support, which is really the one thing that they don't want to ask for because it seems like, well, I don't know how to do this. Our egos prevent us from saying, well, I don't know how to do this. Will you help me? So by demonstrating that right up front, is probably why you have a much higher percentage of enrollments as well as producers. Right. And, and again, I feel like our integrity is always intact. Right. We're, we're, we're reaching out to somebody. We're really letting them know what we're working on right away, that we're working on a project together. And so there's no, you know, mystery backdooring. Oh, surprise. Guess what? We're not really here for coffee. <laughs> <laughs> We're here to try to pitch you. And right. and people know right away with me, you know, hey, this isn't a sales pitch. I'm not calling to try to sell you something over the phone. I don't want to do that. I don't want anybody to do it to me. Right, right. Okay, so basically you're given this hands-on support and it's replicated and duplicated into your organization, uh, which is why you're hitting pin levels and being recognized nationally. And, and that's a big transformation from where you started. <laughs> Uh, two or three years ago, okay? So we'll get back to personal development um, because that seems to be the big thing with the people that are authentically successful in network marketing. Some people make a lot of money, but they're working 12 hours a day, seven days a week, uh, 12 months a year. And I know you didn't get in the business for that. Um, you get in the business so that you can earn some money and have some time. So when do you start to introduce people into personal development? How do you ease them into it? Um, because I think you and I have talked about this before, but just for people that are listening in and viewing this, I want them to know this. Um, tell me if you agree with this or not. The, the paycheck and the, and the culture that they're going to build on their team is directly proportional to their own self-worth. Oh my gosh. I mean, one of the big things that we do right away in Go90 Grow is we start working through Think and Grow Rich. Okay. And, and when we do that, again, I love that word, first word, think. Right. It's, it starts right here. And so if we're not 
really looking at how we're thinking. <laughs> I've, I've heard this from you many times, Mark, but you said you can't, you know, think stinky 80% of the day and, you know, have some good stuff 20% and expect the 20% to win, right? So in my mind, I have to make those choices and it all starts there. So th that personal development side, but that's why the Go90 Grow system too is so impactful because it's not just skills, it's you're working on the whole person. You're working on all of you. You can't do one without the other. I mean, you could give me all the great skills, but if I'm not doing anything to work on how my own thinking is, it still wouldn't work. I right. The skills are going to make you money, but they're not going to make you more money than your self-worth. And, and I know you teach this on your team that Thinking Grow Rich is not a book. It's a 13-week exercise. So you get people started how quickly in that? Right away or a few weeks in? Honestly, right away. I mean, there's there's a, a self-confidence formula in chapter three that I just tell them, I say it out loud every day with enthusiasm and I'm sending it to them as part of this book and I want them to do the very same thing because I know that it's also the disciplines. I, I just think that's fantastic. So you get people started on self-development and I think one of the secrets and you know me, I don't believe there's any secrets, but one of the real keys or uh, secrets of building a self-replicating team, which is what you now have, you know, that team's growing with or without you. Um, one of the things that happens is if you can get people to feel that they are growing personally, that's the number one thing that's going to build loyalty in your organization, true or false for you. Oh, absolutely true. I'm, the whole thing starts with, with themselves and they need to feel good about what they're doing and how they're growing in every area of their lives. I get so excited about this because it doesn't just impact your paycheck. It impacts the relationships with all the people in your life. It, it can improve every area of your life because, well, you know, I'm sure you'll talk about it another time, but you know, we've all got those primary pivotal needs, those things we all need and to be able to discover how to, you know, really use those in the way that we were designed to is what makes the difference. Right. It's just fantastic stuff. So you talked about the master key experience, which everybody that's on our membership list or on our emailing list, uh, gets a full scholarship to, and I know that you enrolled in that. And you went through the master keys and you worked your buns off for what looks like six months, but it's really 10 and then for a lifetime. Uh, does it get easier? Well, it, it gets easier, but it doesn't mean that the work ever stops, if that makes sense. You know, it, I think that um, what ha has happened for me is that I'm recognizing things that I never saw a year ago or two years ago and things that I wasn't even ready to see and understand. And so it's always a developing, always a learning, always a growing. You know, one of the things we do is um, we spend 10 months working on the greatest salesman in the world. And that, again, it's a workbook. It's not the first time I got that book. I just read it through cover to cover. Didn't know anything about it. I thought, well, that's a good book. Missed it. It wasn't until I got into the master keys that I realized it was supposed to be done at, you know, over 10 months. Right. And what a transformation. Again, you, it, right. We are the watchmen at the gate of what goes into our head and we have this fertile field in our mind. And so it doesn't matter. We're either planting the crud, the thistle, you know, or planting something amazing that can grow. And our mind doesn't care what we plant, but it will return exactly what you plant. Right. It's like a boomerang, right? It's per oh. It's going to return with remarkable accuracy. So would you agree that with the idea that um, to do great things, think great thoughts? Oh, my gosh. It all starts with what you think, right? And we choose what we think. We that, attach it. Right. We decide. Right. It's our choice. Well, it's just really been remarkable. We're so thrilled for your success. So um, 
I want to ask you, uh, we always wrap up the same way. So I'm going to ask you 10 uh, rapid fire questions here. Just your, <laughs> just your knee jerk response. The first would be, you know, Don, um, what is your favorite word? Unstoppable. Okay, great one. And your least favorite word? No. Okay. What turns you on either creatively, spiritually, or emotionally? Sitting quietly. The silence is the key, isn't it? It is. Um, what turns you off? Talking about nothing. <laughs> Your empty, favorite empty talk. <laughs> empty talk, right? Um, your favorite curse word? Oh, can't say it. <laughs> Can you give us a letter? Can you give us a letter? <laughs> um, it, it's it's not it's not one that I would ever recommend anyone saying. It starts with an S. Okay, <laughs> the old F bomb. Anyway, the old F bomb. <laughs> uh, what is your favorite? Uh, what, you know, what really is your favorite uh, noise or sound? What do you love to hear? Music. Okay. And your least uh, sound, favorite sound or noise, what do you hate to hear? Um, somebody dropping something on the ground. <laughs> Okay. It's, there's a lot of there's with eight children. There's been a lot of things that have gotten broken over the years. So it's just like, what was that? Uh, uh, what profession, other than your own, uh, would you like to maybe attempt before uh, the before we move into the next adventure? Uh, I I should probably just be a rock star, maybe. You are a rock star, baby. We know that, and uh, I really love the uh, deal that you're in because not only are people making money with you in uh, World Ventures, but they're also getting to travel and experience new things. Uh, what profession would you not like to do? Uh, anything that's considered a job. It's the just over broke, jump out of bed deal. Um, uh, yeah, just that back and forth to work. Right. You know? Right. So re regimentation. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, regimentation. Yeah. And last Freedom. question. Last question to wrap it up. If heaven exists, okay, what would you like to hear God say when you get to the pearly gates? I am so glad you helped so many people get here. Wow, fantastic, Don Anderson, mother of eight, a successful network marketer. And uh, actually, uh, so grateful to have you crossed our paths. You've enriched our lives so much. Like so many, you are helping a lot of people. Peace be the journey. Thank you so much. Bye.